Moses Garib received a significant boost to its local business landscape as Minister Lucia Ipumu, Namibia's Minister of Trade and Industry, graced the area on Saturday, 27th of April, 2024. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to Honorable Minister Lucia Ipumbu for gracing us with your presence and commend your unwavering dedication to our constituency's economic empowerment. Together, let us embark on this journey of success and the result. Collaborating with Councillor Stefanus Ndengu, they unveiled an ambitious initiative aimed at nurturing entrepreneurship, fostering economic growth within the community and beyond. My question pertains to um, the digital age that we are living in. <laughs> On the car, for 15 years. And I need to cook, no capa, no pencil, no And I'm not going to And I'm And I'm not going to And it's not And small business is also needed for to pay tax or not. Because some of us, we have small business. Um, maybe my question is just based on the on the music because I do music. I also show people here what I can do. Our artists they need more assistance, but our government, our our minister of trade, they we, they are not assist our people. The meeting was met with a characterized dynamic exchange of ideas, with Minister Ipumbu leading a consultative session that provided a platform of direct engagement between the ministry and the residents. Of late, we have come to realize that if there is a sector amongst the traders that was forgotten or perhaps never given enough attention, is the informal traders. The informal traders were left and just there to fight for themselves. We are now working on a policy that talks to the informal economy, startups, and entrepreneurship development. And this policy is at an advanced stage of uh, consultation. At the heart of the initiative, lies a forward-thinking policy framework designed to empower startups in the informal economy and promote entrepreneurship development. Complementing this effort, the ministry reintroduced the equipment scheme, offering financial aid ranging from small-scale grants to substantial investment through the Industrial Upgrade Modernization Program. So the equipment aid scheme is back and it has a brother or a sister program also that is Industrial Upgrade Modernization Program, IUMP, as we abbreviate it. And this program now targets those that are already in business. Equipment aid scheme, it's for startup, it's for everyone. Everyone, whether you are in business or not, you want to start, you want a sewing machine, you want a, a cutting machine for your meat, you want fridges, you want, a, as long as you have a submitted business proposal. And, and we also do not make the requirements of the equipment aid scheme too stringent like others. IUMP, it's a bit stringent because there we want you to show us that this is the business that I have started. Because with IUMP we are saying at least 15% should be from you. And then we give you 85%. Minister Ipumpu outline her strategic vision which which includes the establishment of a dedicated industry for performing arts. This event were enriched by the presence of local artists and a vibrant culture ensemble, creating a tapestry of culture exchange that deeply resonate within the community. Jason Nashikako, representing international trade at the ministry, highlighted opportunities of local business to participate in the Intra-Africa Trade Fair, providing a gateway for them to showcase their products on a global platform. Currently, we are planning for 
the intra-African trade fair, which is, I think is going to take place in Nigeria. We are going next year. What we are going to do, we are going to plan ahead. Uh, one of the issues that we are thinking about is to ensure that at least we can assist business people to transfer their particular products there. It's very much important in terms of networking as well. Uh, those who are able then to fund their participation, uh, they will be informed and they will be able then to participate. Dr. Michael Homavindu, Deputy Director, contributed his expertise at the discussion elevating the dialogue at new height as he addressed key questions. Not everybody is required to register a paper, but because of certain requirements or maybe you want to apply for a tender or you want to do business formally, or you are going to a joint venture with some um, to build the construction of this road that goes to Hongos Valley, of course you have to be registered because that is what the requirements are for you to have a tender. But you must just remember that um, as an informal trader or a small scale trader, there is no such requirement. In essence, this initiative marks more than just a revival of local businesses. It signifies the beginning of a new era of prosperity for Moses Gareb constituency. Reporting from Solution Studios, Windhoek, Namibia, Abram Jesaya.